From equipment getting stuck on the rink somewhere, or on players' bodies, to players doing things that are nonsensical or even forgetting things such as the rules, some hilarious moments tend to happen in an NHL hockey game. The competition in hockey is furiously serious business, but there's always time for a laugh in a hockey game because some seriously funny things are bound to happen on the ice. And in this video, we're going to talk about the most hilarious hockey moments. We're gonna start off strong here, with St. Louis Blues defenseman Colton Pareko, who has the puck behind the net as he tries to set up a rush. The referee, though, gets impatient and wants Pareko to move the puck and yells at him to do so. But Pareko has other plans. He gives a response to the referee, who then gives him a response to that. Kinda sounds like a father talking to a son, hey? This is another one that features the sound from the rink. But these are the sounds of pain. A teammate clears the puck off the leg of the San Jose Sharks Brent Burns. He then turns around and drills it off the leg of an Ottawa Senators player who then also cries out in pain. Next, after bouncing off something in the Vancouver Canucks offensive zone, the puck slides towards Vancouver's empty net. But, when it's clear that defenseman Kevin Bieksa will clearly catch up to the puck in plenty of time, he puts his hand up as if to indicate, Don't worry fellers, I got it! Bietzka to the rescue! There's no question what the funny part is here, as the Chicago Blackhawks goalie falls flat on his face as he races to get off the ice after a delayed penalty is called. The fans get into the act here, with the Boston Bruins leading the Montreal Canadiens 8-1 in the Montreal Forum and the game is about to end. The Canadiens faithful have just about had it, and apparently one of the fans has had it and throws in the towel which flutters to the Bell Center ice. In this one, did somebody throw in another puck? That's the question here in this game between the Ottawa Senators and the New York Rangers as absolutely nobody realizes that there's another puck sitting on the back of the net as if a face-off is about to occur in the zone. And of course, the play goes behind the net and now everyone realizes, hey, we got two pucks on the ice. And the stoppage is called. All that Shea Weber really needed was a single puck to unload his devastating slap shot, one of the hardest slappers in the game in recent memory. But in this case, the Montreal Canadiens defenseman blasts one over 92 miles an hour that goes over the net and has the fans behind the net ducking, despite the fact that it's harmlessly hit on the glass. Now we go from that to a linesman losing his whistle as he drops the puck. The whistle is knocked behind the net and this Vancouver's Canucks player chases it behind until he realizes it ain't the puck, so he rushes back to get back into play with the other players. That's pretty fun. That brings us to another situation where a player realizes that he has done the wrong thing. With his score tied 2-2 in late regulation, the Boston Bruins goaltender Tuka Rask, for some reason, heads to the Bruins bench. And that is until the coaches and everyone on the bench starts yelling at Rask to get back in net, which thankfully he does. And after the game, he even went to explain why he did it. Hey, we all make mistakes, that's alright. But this Vancouver Canucks player made a silly mistake. He decided that it was a good time to have a piggyback ride. He jumped onto the back of a member of the Dallas Stars and goes for a little ride. Ride on Canucks as they say. Eventually, the Dallas player falls. I mean, maybe there could have been a penalty here, but what are you gonna call it? Two minutes for piggyback riding? If they would have called that on me, I'd just speak to the ref in Pig Latin. Hello, hey! Ame Inalte, pay! But this is a hockey rink, not a beach. So why on earth is there a beach ball on the ice with the referee trying to put it under his shirt on his back? Beach balls don't belong on the ice! It appears that the penalty timekeeper doesn't think that the Vegas Golden Knights' Jonathan Marshall so belongs on the ice. At least not yet, anyway. The timekeeper keeps slamming the door on Marshall so as he tries to exit the box. Marshall So is finally allowed back onto the ice and realizes it was actually his mistake or he can't read time. Our next hilarious moment ultimately turns out to be much ado about nothing. But nothing can still be funny. New Jersey Devils goaltender Martin Broder loses his stick, but the puck is cleared down the ice. 
So he takes the opportunity to go and get his stick. But the opposing goaltender sees that and rushes to the puck and shoots it at the vacated net. Rodeur scrambles to get back as the puck hits the goalpost. But this wouldn't have counted as a goal anyways. And that's because the play was offside. And that's also why everyone else was laughing. Officials are supposed to be neutral, but after losing one of his skate blades, the St. Louis Blues' Ivan Barbashev, while on his knees, is pushed to the bench by the referee. The real reason is probably because the referee realized that he was in danger if a puck with a play came his way. This Carolina Hurricanes player also needs a little bit of help as his shoulder of his uniform is stuck between the glass sections after being checked into the boards in the corner. I've never seen anything like this, this is amazing! Finally, getting a bit of help up after struggling is another hurricane. This time, goaltender Anton Kudobin, who is trying to get off the ice and onto the bench for the extra attacker. Finally, a couple of teammates help him over the boards. Vancouver's Alex Burrows certainly does not need any help jumping onto the bench of the other team. This is the other team's bench, the St. Louis Blues. Why did he try to do this though? To avoid an offside. Hey guys. How's it going? Here, the Washington Capitals Evgeny Kuznetsov gets a little lesson on the rules. He and the Vegas Golden Knights Nick Holden both lose their sticks. Kuznetsov picks up Holden's stick and continues to play. But you can't do that, it's a penalty to use an opponent's stick. So that's two minutes in the sin bin for Kuznetsov. The puck has been known to get stuck in some weird places, but you don't see this often. And it happens again in the next hilarious moment. The New York Rangers' Dan Girardi gets the puck stuck between the inside of his helmet visor and right on top of his eyes. And then the same thing happens to Dallas Stars' Patrick Nemeth. In both of these cases, they kind of look like pirates with the puck being stuck on their left eye. While sitting on the boards in front of the bench and waiting to get off the ice during a game, this Carolina Hurricane is shocked to get the stick taken out of his hands by an opponent who is just simply skating by. The Detroit Red Wings' Henrik Zetterberg still has his stick, but also has some of the advertising from the board stuck onto him as he goes to the Red Wings bench. The Calgary Flames. Dion Phaneuf wishes his skates were better at sticking to the ice surface because he falls backwards as he's about to square up for a fight with Canuver Vanuk's Jarko Rutu. And yes, I call them the Canuver Vanux. Now this is really funny. I'm sure that the Vanux bench is really giving it to Phaneuf after he gets up. Next, the St. Louis Blues' Derek Waugh gets his stick stuck in the boards behind the net. And finally, Mark Borowiecki of the Ottawa Senators is having a hard time getting around the ice after the blade comes out of one of his skates. He's just trying to get the referee to blow the whistle, but the other team has the puck. So there you have it, the most hilarious hockey moments. Which one was your favorite? Please leave a comment about the one you thought was the most hilarious and subscribe to this channel for more hockey videos. Click on the video on the screen to hear about the new teams coming to the NHL. If you like this video, don't be a bender. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, help the algorithm, help us grow, and see you next time.